Boxer. Welcome, and we are in a new month. Happy new month, everyone. Happy, Happy new month. month, ma'am. And this is the seventh month of the year 2021. Seven is a number of perfection. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will perfect everything that concerns our lives in the Amen. name of Jesus. You Amen. that you are listening to this, to this broadcast, any area of your life that you are trusting God for, for absolute perfection in all levels, I decree and I declare into your life that that will happen for you. There will be perfection roundabout Amen. in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome Amen. on board. Welcome on board. So if you are here with us for the first time, I am Apostle Elishama Ide, and this is Redemption Prayer Altar. And we do this every first to third of every month to pray for our lives, to pray for our um, communities, to pray for our family, to pray for our nation at large. And what that word redemption simply means is that whatsoever has gone out of line, whatsoever has gone out of order in our lives, in our families, in our communities, and in our nations, on this prayer altar, my assignment, our assignment <laughs> is to call back everything into alignment according to divine purpose even before the foundation of the earth. It's an altar that brings about, you know, realignment, reconciliation, and bring everything back to how God intends it to be. So that is why it is called Redemption Prayer Altar. And it is every first three days of the month, it comes with fasting. And we have three sessions every day, 7 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. So we were able to kickstart our 7 a.m. today, though we came on, came on a little bit late, just like I was explaining, we are trying on this new app and it kind of gave us some struggles. We all know how it is when you are trying on a new thing. So we are all set. Right now we are live on all major platforms. We are live on Facebook. We are live on Instagram. Amazing, you know? Live on Instagram, live on YouTube, live on LinkedIn. So we are live everywhere. So um, we have a special um, assignment this month concerning our nation, Nigeria, concerning the life of our youth. So the theme of this month is called Generation Next. Generation Next. Shaping and, you know, shaping and um, securing our future shaping and securing our future who is our future our children are our future our youth are our future so if we don't get begin to shape and begin to put some things in order concerning their lives then we are going to have nigeria is a serious situation we are already grappling with so many things already not to talk of having a generation that we are supposed to look up to, Satan is hijacking them, stealing this, their strength because scripture says the strength of a youth, that is their power, that is their beauty, it is their vigor. And once that strength has been rechanneled for something else that is not aligned with God's purpose, then that youth's destiny has actually been hijacked. So we are going to be addressing all of these things in the place of prayers to bring them back into purpose. Proverbs um, 20, 29, let me read this specifically. It says, the glory of young men is their strength and the honor of old men is their gray hair. So um, the glory and strength of our youths in Nigeria will not be hijacked, will not be destroyed, will not be misdirected in the name of Jesus. So right now again, Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We welcome you, Spirit of the living God. We acknowledge you. Oh Lord, we bless you. 
we honor you. You are our helper, our enabler. Nothing can be done. Nothing can be activated without your power, without your help, without your presence. You are the one that called for this assignment. So you are going to back up this commission in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, in the name of God the Father, we declare this afternoon session open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. I take authority over every power of the spirit of the air, every power of, of uh, every power uh, over this nation, Nigeria, troubling the lives of our youths. I take authority over them. Every power and assignment to hinder this move, this particular assignment, I take authority over them. In the name of Jesus, Mahinda Boko Shangala, the Bible says we've been given power and authority to trample upon all the powers of the enemy and that nothing shall by enemy, enemies or us. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I did not come to do this by myself, I am authorized, I am under instruction, I have been activated by the Holy Ghost to carry this commission. So therefore, Satan, you are not permitted to touch me or touch anyone under the sound of my voice. And everyone that has been invited to put their voices together for us to pray for our nation, most especially with the focus on our youths, on our youths, the youths of Nigeria. So in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, take your place. I ask that the angels that have been released concerning this commission be activated, be, 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 be acting onto the voice of our Lord, and they begin to move, they begin to move. As the word comes forth, they begin to bring it into physical manifestation over our nation and over the lives of our youth. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So I want to apologize once more that uh, we are late this afternoon, like I've already explained. Um, I, 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 I am so confident since we have it all set up right now, the new hub all set up, we will not have this problem going forward in the name of Jesus. We will not have this problem going forward in the name of Jesus. So I'm taking this afternoon session by myself because in the morning, I was actually supposed to make some prophetic declaration ahead before every other person will follow suit. So I wanted, I wanted same definition to come right on time, render the national anthem, then I release the prophetic um, words over the uh, atmosphere of our nation and over the lives of our youths so that every other speaker coming in can move under the umbrella of that declaration. But there was so much distraction, not getting in on time, um, the UN team definition, not being able to connect from their location. So many things distracted us. So I was not, I was, my, my spirit was kind of distracted from doing what I was supposed to do. And the Holy Ghost said, repeat it again this afternoon. In fact, and God gave a window. I was wondering, how was I going to repeat it when we already had a youth that was supposed to take this afternoon session? Only for him to come in and say, Mama, can you shift my timing? Something is going on. So the Holy Ghost made a way. And the Lord said, that is it. You need to go in first and make this prophetic declaration. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for always having our back, for always putting things in alignment according to your divine purpose for not allowing us to go off by ourselves, for putting the agenda of God, laying it in our hearts for it to fall into other. You said, occupy till I come. You said, the head is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. You said you are the governor amongst the nations. You have said you are the one that created nations and you created their boundaries. Mahandala Shosahidre Dosha. So if anyone just feels they can just go off in any nation and do what they like, no, there is somebody in charge and his name is Jehovah Yahweh. He's the possessor of heaven and earth. The earth belongs to him and he mandates his ambassadors to make sure that things don't go out of order. So 
I am one of such ambassador. I am Apostle Dr. Elishama Ide. So I am going to first read from the book of Jeremiah to establish the authority that gives me permission to be sitting here this afternoon. So it says in Jeremiah 7, um, I will read it from verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 1, I will take it from verse 9. He said, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, Elishama. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant. Hey Amen. That is the special anointing, the grace, the blessing, the authority, the call, the mantle that God has placed upon my life for such a time as this. So I am standing under authorization. And by this standing, I am going to make proclamation this session is actually for prophetic proclamation over our nation and concerning the lives of our youths, concerning the lives of our youths in Nigeria, that the spirit of the age will not overtake their destiny and destroy them forever. Because if we allow that to keep going on, then our future and our hope concerning Nigeria is bleak indeed. And if God has us on, you know, here on earth, then we are more than enough to stop the hand of the enemy and say, Satan, you cannot pro proceed any further. You cannot proceed further in Nigeria. You cannot proceed further over the lives of our youths. So many things are happening. Like I said in the morning, when we uh, finish the special edition for June and we pray for Nigeria for three days, I said, okay, that is it. Let me go back to um, getting women on board for us to just be interceding for ourselves, for our families, for our community and for our nation. And the Lord said, you need to be moving with me per season, per second. The Bible says we do not live by bread alone, but we, we live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. So I always tell my people, if you see me doing something and you think I'm going to stay there for too long, then you don't understand the prophetic. <laughs> if you don't understand the prophetic, even me when I start out, I always think in my flesh, okay, I'm going to be in this position for a season and the Holy Ghost will move again. So he said, stay put. We are still on the issue of Nigeria. And he had told me ahead, the July edition will be for the youths. I, I was struggling in my spirit. He said, it's going to be for the youths. And as the days of the month of June began to unfold, a lot of things really began to come into the open. And I remember because he had put that word in my spirit that it's going to be for the youth. He began to reveal some unusual things. Some youth in high profile level, influencers are doing occultic and all of that. And he said, this is how far it has gone. And these people influence millions, billions of people. So you can imagine mm. the spirit that has gone out into the nation. But today, Malatrabo, Kusandeli, Retege, Boshanga, Latrabo, Ikato, Latrebehe, Akambo, Latro, Sahidre, Dosh, Akamaya, Kata, Latre, Neketo, Lotros, Ahitra, Bosh, Akayetra, Ke, Akolatro, Sehi, Kamukotro, Te, Akalitra, Bo, Mihitra, Bo, Kashaya, Kabo, Letros, Akabo, Ihitra, Kabo, Shehitra, Kabo, Sehitra, Babo, Makushangali. He said he has given me power and authority to trample upon all, all the powers of the enemy. He says, see, I have set you this day over the nations and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. So today, over our nation, Nigeria, we are put, we are rooting out, we are rooting out by the power of the Holy Ghost, that spirit that has come into the lives of our youth, our children, our future to try to ruin them, to try to ruin their destiny, 
We pull down all such powers. We root them out of our nation in the name of Jesus. And we destroy all of their works over this nation, all of their intention over this nation, all of their agenda over this nation, all of the works and atrocities they brought into the lives of the youth. We destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. We stand in repentance. I've already done that in the morning, but I'm doing it again. For the lives of our children, of our youths, and our, we, the parents, where we have gone wrong, we're asking for mercy if we have not corrected them rightly. And the situation that the nation has placed, you know, constituted concerning them, not giving them enabling, enabling, ground for them to be able to channel their youthful strength, their youthful energy. That way Satan hijacked it and began to use it for the wrong thing. Father, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us. Have mercy. Forgive us in Nigeria. Forgive us individually. Forgive our parents. Forgive the parents of all children, youths, every parent that have not guided their children right, Father, please forgive. Forgive us and have mercy upon us. Forgive our government. Forgive our leaders. Everywhere we have contributed to the decay in this land, in this nation. Malika Bosha. Everywhere we have communicated to the decay in this nation. Lord God, have mercy and forgive us. Mahindra Bokoshanda. Do not let the life of our youth go into destruction. They are the strength of our nation. They are our future generation. So we are asking you in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ to please have mercy. Have mercy, oh God, and forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So if you are still with me on this broadcast, let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Let us begin to release the blood of Jesus over the nation over the nation. Let it be the ground that we are going to sow everything that we want to sow concerning the lives of our children, concerning the youths. Because he said, after rooting out, uh, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, he now said we have to begin to build. We have to begin to plant. We pull down, we throw out every powers from this nation. And right now, we are pleading the blood of Jesus over our nation. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over the grounds of our nation. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over the foundation of Nigeria. We are asking that the blood begin to repair all that has gone wrong in this nation. Mahitra Bokushanga, Letrosehi, Letrota, Kamolatrosahi. We are asking that the blood, Nikalotosahi Rebosh, will begin to address the ground of every situation that has brought iniquity into Nigeria over this nation. We address the ground with the blood of Jesus. Mahanda Kalatraba, Meketrolososi, Iketrolo, Mahitrato, the blood to begin to cleanse this nation from the south, from the east, from the north, from the west. Oh Lord God, over the stone nation. Every ground of sin in Nigeria, we destroy by the blood of Jesus. Every ground of iniquity in Nigeria, we destroy by the blood of Jesus. Mahindra Boko Shanga Latraba. Every blood that is crying vengeance over this land by the reason of the shedding of innocent blood, slaughtering, slaughtering lives, killing people. Father, Lord, we ask for forgiveness. We ask for mercy. And we are pleading the blood of Jesus to shut down every contrary blood that is speaking, oh Lord God, judgment over this nation. Because we are standing in the gap for Nigeria, Nigeria will not be destroyed, our future will not be destroyed, our children will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, we ask the blood of Jesus to begin to bring correction. Mahanda Kalotrobaka make it trobosha, ikatrobosha into our nation. We ask, we plead the blood of Jesus to begin to bring correction from every sector. We ask that from the leadership, from the presidency to the Senate, to the house of down to the local government, every echelon of power to the uh, to the armed forces, to the police, to the navy, to the immigration. 
every area of governance in Nigeria, we ask the Lord to begin to correct every ground of iniquity, to begin to correct every seed of iniquity. In the name of Jesus, Mahanda Lotrabahi, Mokotrato, Ketrebo, Shakande, Letrabaha, Yekendo Seli, Akobolo Tresahi, the blood, the blood, the blood that conquers Satan. The blood has fought principalities, the blood has fought powers, the blood has made an open shot of the enemy. We plead the blood, Mika Trobaka Shaka Shaka Shaka, to begin to overthrow every satanic agenda in this nation. We plead the blood to begin to root out every works of the past of darkness over this nation. We plead the blood of Jesus to begin to throw down the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood to create an enabling ground for us to build a new Nigeria, for us to build a new Nigeria and to plant the seed of righteousness in our nation upon the blood, the blood of Jesus. We begin to plant righteousness over this nation. The prophecy that has gone ahead concerning Nigeria, that Nigeria shall be known as a righteous nation. We, we, we begin to plant that prophetic word on the blood. We call the blood of Jesus to be the soil of a new foundation of the new Nigeria that we are all hoping for, that we are all trusting God for, that we are all believing God for. The blood of Jesus. We plant our children, we plant our youths on the soil of the blood of Jesus in Nigeria. We ask that the power of the age that is influencing their hearts, that is influencing their life, that is influencing their mind, be broken by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. We ask that the redemption power will begin to overtake the youth of Nigeria and they will not be destroyed. Say every satanic agenda concerning our future. Father, Lord, in this nation, we pull it down, we pull it down, we throw it down, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. May he trouble Shakatalatra. Let it do so to trouble for Shakala. Let it take a tokomala to Sahi. Let it take a ticket. Let it take a ticket. Malotro Sahi Treboko Shangala. Holy Ghost, thank you. We are the blood of Jesus. We are the blood of righteousness. On the soil of the blood of Jesus. Over this nation. We are planting the seed of righteousness. We root out corruption from this ground. In the name of Jesus, in this place we plant righteousness. In this place we plant righteousness. We plant the will of God. Nigeria will be known as a home mark of righteousness, of purity. We will be a joyful nation, a prosperous nation. We root out bad leadership over this nation. We leaders that have the intention to just come to feed their stomach and their belly and their to fill themselves and their belly and their family. We root out such leaders in this nation. We begin to plan in the name of Jesus. Leaders ordained by God that we have the fear of God and that we have compassion for the people in the name of Jesus. So I'm gonna be specific about some prayer points concerning the youth that we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I need to please off your microphone. You are interjecting, you are interrupting this. Podcast. Off your microphone, off your microphone. I might have to mute everybody right now. Malika Boko Shangali Peto Shani Shato Shuko Bakata Latri Bosh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Malatraba. Letro Sehi, Mokota Lutrahi, Ke Mokota Latra. El Holy Ghost, take control. So, we are going to pray that the destiny of our youth in Nigeria will not be destroyed, it will not be wasted. 
The destiny of our youth in Nigeria will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood that the destinies of our youth in Nigeria, our future will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every such plans of the enemy, we pull down, we pull down and we destroy. But the blood, the blood of Jesus, we are going to pray that the condition that we put our youth in a situation to kill their purpose, to kill their destiny, that God should remove them from that situation. God should remove our youths. God should remove our children from every condition that will set up their lives and their destinies for destruction. We are praying that God will remove our youths. God will remove our children. They are our future. We are praying that God should remove any situation, any condition that will put their life in jeopardy, put their life in circumstances beyond themselves that the enemy will make, will frustrate them and make them compromise. Mahanda Kolatro Sahid Rebosha, whatever those conditions are, Holy Ghost, we ask you to step in. Right now, in the name of Jesus, most of those conditions are poverty reading. They are poverty reading. And because a lot of Nigerians are living in extreme abject poverty, a lot of wrong people, wrong groups, wrong companionship begin to introduce them to fraudulent activities, to begin to do the wrong thing. They take them into the occult. They teach them how to steal. They begin to do every sort of thing that is immoral and unjust because the nation is really living in a bad, the nation is really in a bad situation right now. So we are going to ask the Lord, every condition that has put our children in this nation into situation that is making them to compromise their right standing, that the mercy of God will move and begin to rescue our children, our youths, from those situations, in the name of Jesus, only go step in. Some lives are in bondage right now because they are helpless. Some youths are following the wrong gang right now because there's no enabling ground in this nation for them to thrive. Some families are homeless, living in extreme abject poverty reading condition. I know. That is the commission I carry. I see them, we go live, and we see this situation in our communities. So when people are in those sort of condition, evil influence overtakes their lives and they become helpless and they begin to compromise and fall further into iniquity. But we are going to begin to shape the future of our children with prayers, we are going to begin to restructure it. We are going to begin to rearrange it. We are going to begin to redirect it. We are going to begin to secure it by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is not just an ordinary altar. We do not have to pray for too long. Everything I do is by instruction. Like I said earlier, I didn't plan this month for it to be for the youth. I was going to continue in my own, the, the first one, the first few months that the Lord was saying I should do with the woman. Then the situation of Nigeria came up and he said, concentrate on Nigeria. So as I finished that last month, I said, no, go for the youth. I didn't even know anything was going to crop up about the youth. But you know what happened? Some very interesting things happened. My, my friend is here, and I will repeat this again for those that were done with us in the morning. She's a witness. God is always putting her as a faithful witness concerning me. Me and this woman, we have a covenant relationship with. Pastor Yinka Balfour. God is always putting us as a faithful uh, witness concerning this thing. Earlier, immediately after um, the, the, the June program, I think a week after, I was praying, as soon as the Lord said, you begin to pray for the youths. That is what the next month's uh, program will be about July. I had a revelation and a high profile um, Influencer, God gave me his name, but I'm not going to mention his name. I, I get God gave me his name verbatim. 
And he said, this person is looking for blood around within a circle to give to his occult community. I have no business with this person. I don't even, I'm like, what's going I'm like, why is God telling me? I mean, those are, and the Lord said, that those are the things I want you to begin to address. So I quickly called my friend because she's also my prayer covenant, prayer partner. I said, this is what the Lord said. And lo and behold, a couple of days ago, there's a new trending to that effect. To that effect. So you see, the Holy Spirit gives information. It gives instruction. And when we move with the timing of such information and instruction, then it's ready to move. You don't have to struggle too much. The only struggle we are going to do right now is making sure we obey him and pray this prayer. Once we pray this prayer, I begin to move. So everywhere that the occult spirit has come upon our youth, we break that power. In the name of Jesus, we break that power. In the name of Jesus, God has put the words in my mouth. I've read the scripture ahead. Every which way that the powers of the kingdom of darkness are drawing our children into occults and are using influencers to corrupt their lives and to corrupt their mind today by the power of the Holy Ghost. We break such powers of our nation. In the name of Jesus, we root them out of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we throw down their works. We destroy all of the iniquities that they have brought upon this land. We destroy all of their works by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we ask that such spirits over this nation be arrested right now. Be arrested right now. I dispatch, I dispatch by the command and the word of the Lord, the angels that have been assigned for this commission. Mahanda to begin to arrest all such spirits uh, from the southeast of Nigeria, from the northwest of Nigeria, from the south south of Nigeria, from the uh, southwest of Nigeria, in the sixth geopolitical zone, in the different regions of this nation. Begin to move, begin to move, begin to move. I begin to scatter yourself and move. Every occultic realm controlling the mind of our youth over this nation. We tear them down. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we tear them down. In the name of Jesus, we have put them from this land. In the name of Jesus, we ask that the seed of righteousness, the spirit of righteousness begin to take their place immediately. Let the spirit of righteousness, let the spirit of purity, let the spirit of peace, let the spirit of prosperity, let the spirit of, uh, uh, of enabling environment for our, for our children begin to pervade the land, begin to go over this nation in the name of Jesus. Begin to check the former grounds that all of this, all of this, other spirits had occupied before. We are planting, we are sowing righteousness, we are sowing holiness, we are sowing right standing in God, we are sowing right standing in leadership, we are sowing into these grounds right now in the name of Jesus, prosperity, wellness, peace, security, establishment, progress in for our nation and for our youth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm taking another prayer point. Any negative condition that has subjected our, our youth destiny to dryness, we command those situations to disappear. These prayers are very crucial. People don't just go into situations like that. That is why God is so merciful. He's always looking for people to stand in the gap. It's always looking for people to stand in the gap. Some people that you will know, you will know their sins, you will know their atrocities and everything, and God will still be telling you, I love this person. I love this person. I do not want this person to be destroyed. Because God looks beyond the way that man looks. God sees what man cannot see. God knows what man does not know. God knows the foundation and every situation that has put man in bondage. That is why... While we were yet dead in sin, the Bible said Christ died for us. He didn't wait for us to be perfect. He knew he had to rescue us. He knew he had to come down by himself. God came down. Emmanuel, God in us. 
came to dwell with us in the flesh. So God is merciful. So right now we are going to ask that the mercy of God we rescue every youth of this nation that is subjected, that their destiny has been subjected to dryness, that that dryness disappear right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask that they be set free. We ask that the grounds of their lives begin to prosper. We ask that the God will water the dryness in their lives. God will water the dryness in their families. God will water the dryness in all that concerns them. Concerning their educational matter, everything that has gone wrong, God will begin to correct in this nation. Our educational um, sector in Nigeria is almost comatose. It has left a lot of youths frustrated. So their energy, their vigor that they are supposed to be using to pursue the right thing concerning their lives and their future, they are rechanneling, rechanneling it negatively. So, so those situations we're asking God to take away from our land. Every dryness that has put our youth in bondage in Nigeria, Lord God, we ask you to correct it. We ask you to take over. We ask you to cleanse it. We ask you, oh Lord God, to restructure our nation for wellness in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that by the mercy of God, every power that has put our youths in such um, captivity, in darkness, doing all sorts of atrocities, that Satan will not write the last chapter of their life. Because we are standing in the gap, God will step in. Because he is the author and finisher of our faith. God is the author and finisher of our faith. And the Bible says every handwriting of ordinances that is against us, that is contrary to us, that Jesus has already taken it out of the way, blotted it out with his blood, and nailed it with himself to the cross of Calvary. So therefore, Malatra Boko Shanga Yakata, I issue this decree. I issue this order by the power of the Holy Ghost, <clears throat> that Satan will not write the last chapter of the lives of the youths of Nigeria. Because we have come in into the place of intercession. From today, Lord, we are asking you, begin to rewrite the destiny of our, of our children. Begin to rewrite the destinies of our, our, our youths in Nigeria. Everywhere that their destinies have been tampered with, uh, misdirected, polluted, contaminated. We are asking you, oh God, to bring everything back to the proper perspective. This is redemption altar. We are asking, oh Lord God, for you to right all the wrong. Just like you did when you sent Jesus. He is the power of resurrection. So we are asking him that the power of redemption begin to redeem our youths from destruction in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we declare a new day. We declare a new chapter upon the youths of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Mahindra Trabosh, Akala Trubasehi, Mekendros. I'm taking another prayer point. Every cable of darkness holding our youths where they don't belong. We command those tables to break now in the name of Jesus. We command every chain, every cable of darkness holding our youth bound to where they don't belong in Nigeria. We command such things to break in the name of Jesus. We command such things to break. In the name of Jesus, who command such things to break. In the name of Jesus, we command such things to break. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, any altar erected in this nation for different reasons to project evil into our youth. 
maybe for political power, for whatever agenda, for whatever reason that they have raised such altars across the nation. I come as one that has been ordained for this assignment. I'm repeating the scripture again because that is this, that that is the sword of my authority. That is the sword that I have to fight this battle with as many that can join me at this hour. He said, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Elishama, behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day, this seventh, this first day of this seventh month of July 2021. I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, and to build and to plant. So today, every altars that have been erected across the land to be projecting evil influence, evil corruption, contamination, misdirection, pollution of the destinies of our youth, the future of this nation. Today, we root out such altars from our nation in the name of Jesus. Today, we pull down such altars in the name of Jesus. Every power foiling those altars, we ask that they be led away in everlasting chain in captivity, in darkness, even until the great judgment day. In the name of Jesus, and we destroy their works over the lives of our youths in this nation. Today, today, these words will begin to move over our land, over this nation. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for it is done in Jesus' name. And I'm taking another prayer point. Any power saying no to the yes of God over the youths of Nigeria, we are asking that such powers be led away in captivity. Such powers be rooted out of Nigeria. Such powers be chained up in everlasting chain in darkness, even unto the great judgment day. In the name of Jesus, we remove every evil influencers over this nation. We make their prominence become non-entity. We, we, we quench every evil influencer, influencing the minds of our youths for negativity, for corruption, for corruption. We, 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 we take their ground of influence from this nation. We take their ground of influence from this nation. From today, they, they, they are no more known as influencers. We shut the gates of where they have been shining before now, except they repent. Everyone that has been raised by Satan to corrupt the youths of Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost under the covering of the blood. We push such influencers to the background from today. We remove them as influencers in this nation. In the name of Jesus, we begin to sow righteous influencers, spirit-filled influencers, people that have the fear of God, people that have the mind of God, people that love, have the hearts to love people, anybody that have the authority, the power to influence many people, to influence thousands of gatherings of people, and they are using it negatively and they've been raised by Satan. Today, we remove them from that office. In the name of Jesus, today, the scripture I'm reading, though, and that is the authority I have. That is the mantle I carry. Today, according to the word that the Lord has put in my mouth, today, we root them out. We root them out of that position that they have. We root them out. Today, we pull them down. And today, we destroy their works over the minds of our youth, our children in this nation. And we throw down every evil altars they've raised to influence the minds and the lives of our youth, our children, our future in this nation. And we begin to build God's divine agenda concerning these youths 
Father, Lord, we ask that the glory of their strength be returned <laughs> in the name of Jesus. We ask that the glory of the strength of our youth in Nigeria be returned in the name of Jesus. We ask that everywhere they have been polluted, that you, you by yourself, you begin to clean, the, clean them up in the name of Jesus. We ask that they begin to go through a process in the hands of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We ask that you begin to help them in areas that has put their lives into compromise. Oh, that they be helped, that they be delivered, that help, that help locate them, help locate their family in the name of Jesus. Every cooker path be made straight, every low valley be exalted, every mountain be complained in the name of Jesus. Any form of hardship they are experiencing. Personally and in their families, oh Lord God, that you step in to help them in the name of Jesus. You place helpers into their lives that will shield them, that will cover them, that will give them no reason to succumb to the wiles of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to take just two more prayer points and we round up this session. You know, we've done the major things. We've thrown, we've, we've rooted our altars. We've rooted our powers. We've gone into repentance. We've established the ground with the blood of Jesus. We've picked the major prayer points. Now, I'm just going to round up with maybe two more and we'll close because our nation will not remain the same again in the name of Jesus. The minds of our children will be freed, will be freed from every negative and evil influence in the name of Jesus. Every, any covenant, we are going to pray for the youths of this nation. Either they are in school, either they entered into this covenant in school by the reason of wrong relationships and associations, either through family, background, evil foundation, either through um, working place, either through looking for position of power, any realm in school, in the university, they now drag children into the occult. So much negative influence in the minds of youths. There's the spirit of suicide. There's the spirit of depression. In fact, we are going to deal with that right now. The spirit of suicide, the spirit of depression, you know, um, affecting and harassing the lives of the youths of Nigeria and even globally. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we ask that those spirits be removed from this nation and the nations of, of the world that are under the sound of my voice. Any nation that comes under, that hears this word, I ask that the power of God will hit that nation and every spirit of suicide and depression that has put a lot of children into terrible condition and situation. A lot of youths, Father Lord, we ask that that spirit be removed in the name of Jesus. We ask that those spirits be led away in captivity, in everlasting chain in darkness. In the name of Jesus, we ask for the healing of the hearts and the minds of our youths. We ask for healing for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to go back to that prayer point that any evil covenant keeping our children, keeping our youths in any unwanted condition that they cannot break free. They cannot even share with their parents. They cannot tell anybody because they are harassing them. They are threatening their lives. A lot of things are happening in their spirit. Any evil covenant, keeping our youths in any unwanted condition, keeping our children in any unwanted condition or situation, or realm, or relationships, or associations. Today, we are asking such covenants to break by fire in the name of Jesus. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Break by fire over the lives of the youths of Nigeria. Break by fire over the lives of, of, of our children in any homes, in any community, in our neighborhood. Break by fire every evil covenant that is holding our children, the youth of this generation, bound in iniquity that has kept them in a condition that they are helpless. They don't know what to do. We are asking the spirit of God to step in. 
We are asking that men like angels, angels like men, we go rescue them. In the name of Jesus, we ask such covenants to break now. Break by fire. In the name of Jesus. Break for our God is a consuming fire. It's a God that answered it by fire. Father, answer this prayer by fire. Break by fire. In the name of Jesus, I ask that every evil altar holding them bound in evil covenant, cast fire in the name of Jesus. For our God is a consuming fire. He's a God that answered it by fire. Cast fire. Let us altars begin to receive fire right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn up all such altars in the name of Jesus. Every such covenant, burn up by fire in the name of Jesus. Mahitra boko shanga litre tosha. Ahitra boko shanga latra Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In fact, I'm still let to go on. I'm still let to go on. Let's pray this prayer. Every arrow of stagnation and backwardness that have been fired into the life of our youths, maybe through dreams uh, or any which way that these arrows have been fired, through evil association, through evil company, any which way, every arrow of stagnation and backwardness have been fired at our children, our youths, the future of this nation. We ask that such arrows backfire right now in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. We ask that the angels that are acting to the mind of, to the word of God, to the command of God concerning this assignment, begin to move as these words are going forth. Locate these children in, in the Sisiopolika zone of Nigeria. Begin to locate them, even in families. Begin to locate them and in their neighborhoods. Begin to locate them in communities. Begin to locate them. Mola Shayakara in universities. Begin to locate them in organizations. Begin to locate them in leadership positions. Begin to locate them in governance. Begin to locate them wherever they are and they are held bound. Makali traboko shangali traboko sandali traboko shakayaga. By arrows of stagnation and backwardness, we ask that such arrows backfire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I'm still going to take this, this prayer. I don't know if this, uh, I, my flesh is always saying this is the last one, but my spirit is pushing me on. So the one that wins is the one that will do. And we know that the spirit of God will always win. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm going to take this other one. Anything in the foundation of the lives of our children and our youths, magneting, they are magneting their lives for destruction, magneting their lives for destruction. Anything in the foundation of the lives of our children, our youths, uh, who are the future of our lives and our, our nation, we ask that such madness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Such madness be destroyed by fire. Our God is a consuming fire. It's a God that answered by fire. We are asking that such magnets be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every blanket of filthy garments that has been used to cover the youths of Nigeria, we ask such garments to be torn off from them right now. Every blanket of filthy garments over the lives of our children, over the lives of our youths, we ask that such garments be removed right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask that such garments be removed right now. We ask that such garments should be destroyed. Every covering veil and cast over the minds of our youths in Nigeria, covering God's glory, because every human being carries God's glory, covering God's glory in their lives to be revealed, to be seen. We ask that such garments be destroyed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Anything representing our children, our youths in the kingdom of darkness, that they will say, eh, let them be praying any prayer. There's a token of that youth. We have, there's a token that we have taken in the life of that youth. We are asking such tokens to be frustrated right now by fire. Our God is a God that, that frustrates the tokens of liars. Oh, Makalotosa, Hitrebo, Koshanga, Kalatrabahi. 
every token that has been taken from the lives of our youths, our children, our future, <clears throat> that the enemy will be using to draw them back as a madness. We ask that God begin to frustrate all such tokens. We ask that all such tokens be destroyed over the lives of our children, our youths, that the future of our children is reshaped, realigned, redirected, put together, secured in the blood of Jesus from today in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we are asking you to anoint the youths of this generation with your presence. Oh Lord God, begin to anoint the youths of this generation to do the unusual. Oh Lord God, let them be the generation that Joel is talking about. You said on, on, in the last day that you pour out your flesh, you pour out your spirit upon all flesh. I'm going to read this from the book of Joel and we close. Joel chapter one, I'm reading from, no, Joel chapter two, I'm reading um, from verse one. I will read it from verse one. And as I, as, I, as I read the scripture, I send it forth, we send it forth over the nation, we send it forth into the lives of our children, of our youths, for it to begin to establish God's mind and divine order, to realign them back, to redeem them back into purpose. And I close with this scripture in the name of Jesus. Um, Joel 2, chapter 2, verse 1 says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land in Nigeria tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is near at, at hand. Yes, the day of the Lord is coming upon all the enemies of this land in Nigeria, especially the ones influencing our youths for evil. A day of darkness will come upon them and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong, that is the youths, we come forth, a type that have never been, be, a, a, a strong, they had not been ever like their type, neither shall be any more after them, even to the years of many generations. A set of youths, we come out from this prayer, God will set them free and they will begin to do exploits. They will begin to do what no eyes have ever seen in the generation before them. In the name of Jesus. He says, a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame bonnet. The land is as the garden of Eden before them and, and, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. They shall be warriors. They shall fight the cause of Nigeria. They shall fight the cause of Nigeria. God will raise youths from all these ashes of everything that we have gone through in Nigeria, that our youths will come forth. They will be a new brand. They will be a new breed. The land will become green because of them. The land and everything that they were passed through will be like a desolate heap behind them. And their appearance, or the appearance of them will be as the appearance of horses and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they live. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Mola Trobashaya, before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall, shall gather blackness. They shall roll like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one trust another. They shall walk everyone of everyone in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run up and down the wall. They shall climb up and down the houses. They shall enter in at the window like a thief. Oh, Makashkala Trubayaga, to rescue people, to rescue spoils out of the mouth of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, the head shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. 
they will become great army of the Lord. Our youth will become great army of the Lord. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide in it? Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Our youth hearts will become completely unto the Lord. They will begin to seek Lord in their prayer closet. They will begin to seek the Lord with their fasting. They will begin to walk in the way, ways of the Lord. They will desire to know Yahweh, Makala Trobashayakada, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mahinda Toshaya, Makala Trabosh. And it says, and render your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. God will become merciful and gracious to our children, to our youth of this generation slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of evil every evil that god has taught in his heart to come upon the youths of this nation father lord we thank you we thank you because your word says you will repent in your heart you will repent in your heart you will repent in your heart in the name of jesus thank you blessed redeemer and in, um, in the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse, verse, verse 7 says, Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. Everywhere that our youth and their destinies, their lives have been sold, God said he will return them back. And the wickedness of the wicked shall fall upon their heads. Everyone, every power, every personality, every representative of Satan that has sold our children to any form of bondage, God is returning them back today and is bringing that evil to fall upon the heads of those that did such corruption over the lives of our children. Except the repent, everything is going to go back to them. In Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. As we bring this uh, meeting to a close, let us begin to thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you, O Lord, God, for this time out. Thank you for we seal these prayer points with the blood of Jesus and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I stand against every backlash, every, uh, every counter attack of the enemy over my life, over the life of everyone that is standing in the gap with me for our youth and for our nation, or our children will not be injured physically or spiritually. Our lives will not be injured physically or spiritually. Father, thank you for angels of us. You said you will give your angels charge over us. They shall bear us up in their hands and keep us in our ways, lest we dash our foot against a stone, that your angels shall encamp around the righteous to deliver us from every form of evil. In the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you praise. And I bring this meeting to a close, oh Lord God. And we are waiting the immediate manifestation of these prayers in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we honor you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Has anybody been been blessed with this ministration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So this meeting has come to a close. It has come to a close. And I thank you for everyone that came into this room. I saw some people going off, coming in and going off. But for the ones that are here, I acknowledge your presence and God bless you. Brother uh, Emmanuel Enya, I am so delighted to see you. You don't know how delighted I am that you came on board. God bless you. God bless you. God bless your household. God bless your children. God bless everything that concerns you and everyone here also. Thank you, Sister uh, Pastor Folu, Maja Kodumi, uh, Mrs. Adekoya, my darling in-law. I love you so much. Mabel, thank you for always being in service, Mabel. You are the one that is always pushing all of these links out there.
Thank you so very much. Pastor Yinka Buafo, my dear friend, Covenant sister, thank you. And I saw Eileen, she's gone up. I saw some couple of people. And for as many that are watching out there, I say, God bless you. Our children's destiny will not be destroyed. Nigeria will not be destroyed. We have put everything in prayer. We have redirected and we have ordered that there is redemption power. Bring them back into realignment with God. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Our next time out and the next slot is 6 p.m. Tonight, a young, a young um, minister, one of the youths, will be streaming all the way from USA. You don't want to miss that. Join us this evening. God bless us as we come together again in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So this session is over. Bye. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.